Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to do very simple and easy baby hairs. My pimple wants to say hi as well, but we're going to ignore that because I'm going to zoom up into this video and we're going to focus on the baby hairs. But before we go into the tutorial, I want to just like talk about like the products you will need to be able to do baby hairs. Now, if you're looking to do Dr. Seuss looking type of baby hairs, this is not the tutorial. Um, they look good, but... I won't do them because it's not my style and this is not the tutorial this is for like very simple easy baby hairs you just want to you know just lay them down a little bit more I want to talk about some products that you're going to need that you can get all at the beauty supply store guys go to the beauty supply store it's affordable and I wish we had more black owned beauty supply stores that we can to support when it comes to doing baby hairs if you have I feel like the best thing that you can get is hair wax a type of a type of gel in the wax formula so you need to buy gel in the wax formula for me and my hair texture my type i'm in like the four area the liquid gels don't work on my baby hair they don't make my baby hair sit once i put the liquid gel on it my baby hair just comes straight back up and it doesn't do anything if you have hair textures like that so if you're in like the type four hair you're going to want to use a wax okay and even if you're not in the type four hair i would recommend you using a wax because it lays down your edges really really well so what i have here is a soft touch style hair wax i would recommend you guys go up to number nine okay i have number nine but today is i'm going to i just pulled out the number six so i'm going to link them down below if you have 4c hair this is going to be your best friend if you have any anything in the type four this is this wax is going to be a, your best friend now argan i know argan brand argan oil i think it's called they have a wax as well there's a lot of brands at the beauty supply store you just look they sell them in like not this big it's like really really small and then you can like put in your purse it's like that type of small but it works you need to use waxes for your edges if you want it to stick especially if you don't really have the time for you to tie down your hair now when i used to use liquid gels you know like the eco styler liquid gel using those i feel like don't work they work to slick up like your actual hair hair but to lay baby hairs to make them stay in one place and not move they're not going to work so let me show you how these this looks actually you guys are probably like, what are you talking about wax formula? So I'm almost done this. I hit, I go through these so fast. They're just so good. As you can tell, it's not like the liquid that like you can scoop up and droop out and everything like that. It doesn't move. Like there's nothing coming out. I'm using my finger. Hopefully you guys can see. It's like waxy. It doesn't move at all. This was affordable. If you're in Jamaica, you can buy this like anywhere on the island. But if you're not, I'm going to link them down below. So the next thing that you're going to want to, you need to have is a toothbrush. Okay, you want to go and buy either like a toothbrush from the dollar store that is hard bristle. Don't get the soft bristle one. Well, you can, but get the hard bristle toothbrushes. You can buy one from the dollar store. Use like a one, an old one that you're not going to be using anymore. Use that as the application brush for your baby hairs. If you think using a toothbrush is gross to be laying your baby hairs, that means you shouldn't be laying your baby hairs at all. Because if you're not for the culture, you shouldn't be doing these type of things. Because in the 90s and the early 2000s, before they came out with these type of brush applicators, everyone and their moms were using toothbrushes. But obviously with toothbrushes you don't use for your teeth. Like it's not the same exact toothbrush you brush your teeth in the morning and night. It's obviously a different one, an old one. I remember when I was younger, and I my 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 older sister used to like sometimes do her hair. She because my mom never used to do edges and stuff. She was all about like keep your hair natural. My sister used to and she used to do her hair sometimes. She used to like do her edges and she used to use the toothbrush. And when I used to see her, she used to use her toothbrush. Like this was something in the 90s, early 2000s that everyone was doing. Okay. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But if not, you can go to the beauty supply store and you can get one of these. So basically, it's a toothbrush. Like, literally, if I covered this bottom part, it looks like a toothbrush. It's literally the same style, the same width, everything like a toothbrush. But the only difference is they added a comb at the bottom, okay? If you feel better using this, just go and buy it. It's really affordable. So those are the two main things that you need. And then if, you, if you're someone who likes tying your hair, you can go in with sewing elastic, like the thick black ones. Or you can go in with like a hair tie, a, a stocking. It doesn't matter. Just find something to tie your edges down. Okay, so let's zoom in. And we're going to start this tutorial. This very natural, simple, easy tutorial for beginners. Me giving you guys a closer look right here is going to show you like the wax or the wax formula for a gel. Much better. Okay, so the first thing that I usually do is like scope out exactly where oh let me show you guys my my hairline first so this is how it looks now some days i'm like okay i want to do this part of my baby hair some days i don't want to do this part of my baby hair so you just have to just look and then you figure out what exactly do you only just want to do up here do you only just want to do the sides do you only just want to do your sideburns like you just have to think and plan it out okay so the first thing you want to do is just brush out all the baby hairs all around your hairline. 
So what this does is it helps plan out exactly how you want to style the baby hairs and what exactly you want and what you don't want. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is just get the gel. And then what you can do actually is just lay the gel on. You lay the gel on the baby hair. It's going to look like something like this. Now, you can decide if you want to use the brush side or the comb side, but I usually use the brush side. So what I'm going to do, so basically you want to make half C's or half a moon. I brush it down, okay, and then wherever you want the baby hairs to stop, you place your finger, and then you're going to brush the baby hairs up. And you can decide how much baby hairs you want in one single swoop or one single half C, one single half a moon or one single C, okay, and basically baby hairs are just, like styling baby hairs is just practice, just like with eyelashes, it just takes such a long time to get it the way you want. Okay, and then sometimes if you feel like your baby hairs are too clumped together, you can just use a comb to go over what you did and then space it out. And then with the ends of the baby hairs, you just brush it back up into the hair. So like that. Just try again. I put my finger and brush it up. You want to do the same thing for every side. So let's try this part. I have to try and do this without my hands getting in the way. I'm going to show you guys without putting my finger because I feel like my hand is going to get in the way. And then you push up like that and then you can go back in with gel and then put it over what you push back up into the hair. Just to make it look more uh, flawless, seamless. So the same with right here. And you can decide how you want to style your baby hairs. Like you can go like all out. You can go very simple. I'm more of like none. No baby hairs are very simple. It's really good for like detailing. Like if you want to push things out the way. Or like make an S or anything. You guys can do something like that. So we're going to go on to this side, and basically it's the same thing once again. So brush, swoop, bring it all the way up. Brush, swoop, bring it all the way up. Brush, swoop. Brush, swoop, bring it all the way up. Okay, and then this side I'm doing like much smaller and less. Again, you can, so again, you can style the baby hairs if you want, or you can just bring it straight back. Like this. And I usually do my baby hairs before I do makeup because I know like gel and everything will get on my face. So that's it for today's video guys. If you did find it helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I do a lot more natural hair like beginner type videos here on my channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir. Bye. But here's some more videos if you want to watch.